Hey everybody, it's Mark again. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I have two clocks here. This is my clock. It's an 8-day Oompa clock, and this is a, a friend of mine's clock. And I've been to his house three different times trying to get this clock fixed, but I couldn't do it because there's things all out of whack on it. So I told him I'm going to bring his clock home to my house and uh, try to get it going and I'm going to compare it to my clock um, his clock the black lever here which trips the uh, oompa players to play is I believe all bent out of shape so I'm going to have to um, take my clock apart to determine what to do with his clock. Like I said, I think his black lever is all out of shape. And I can uh, easily move that black lever on my clock. So it has to do with the spring and I can easily move the black lever on his clock but there's other issues and I'm trying to figure out what those issues are so um, anyway we're gonna put you on pause and I'm gonna try to figure out what the issues are on these eight day oompa clocks so stand by I got the uh, two levers out this is my lever and this is his lever and I just want to see if they were bent the same which They are pretty close to being the same. His lever here, need, this part needs to be bent up some. And I think the issue might be the spring. And he had some springs like this, but I didn't think they would work. Um, so anyway, I'm going to have to see if I can find a spring like this for his clock. So stand by. I didn't find a spring, so I'm going to make one. And what you do, you find a bolt that has fine threads on it. And you put the bolt and a piece of wire in your drill. And you, you tighten it up. But you want to make sure that the uh, bolt is uh, straight in your drill. And then after you get the bolt in your drill, you slowly turn your drill on and 
follow the uh, threads. And as you can see, hopefully you can see, I got the wire uh, all the way through the threads. So now I take the bolt out of the drill and then unscrew it from the wire. Now I'm using um, really thin wire, 24 gauge, it's 100 foot, but uh, I now have a spring. to put onto this plate it's it's um if i had a, a smaller bolt i could get the spring that size but because i don't have a smaller bolt i'm going to um I'm going to have to uh, make the spring. This is really thin wire that they're using. And so, um, this wire here might not work. I might have to have him to send me one of his springs that he has. Because I don't think I have any smaller wire than this. Another thing with this clock is the distance of this rod. Uh, to this plate looks longer than the distance of this my rod to this plate so I'm gonna have to um, shove his rod over some So that's what we're going to do next.